This is a dangerous moment for European security. The number of Russian forces is going up. The warning time for a possible attack is going down. NATO is not a threat to Russia, but we must be prepared for the worst, while remaining strongly committed to finding a political solution. The UK is playing a leading role, delivering both militarily and diplomatically. I welcome your offer of more troops, ships and planes to NATO. This morning I have sent a letter to Foreign Minister Lavrov, reiterating my invitation to Russia to continue our dialogue in a series of meetings in the NATO-Russia Council to find a diplomatic way forward. We are prepared to listen to Russia's concerns and ready to discuss ways to uphold and strengthen the fundamental principles of European security that, have, uh, that we all have signed up to. But NATO will not compromise on core principles. The right uh, of each nation to choose its own path and NATO's ability to protect and defend all allies. And we must resist, we must oppose any return to the days when the fates of nations are decided over their heads by a handful of great powers. And I want to stress that this is not just about Russia, just as NATO itself is not just about Russia. Of course not. This is about upholding the founding principles of an alliance which, perhaps more than any other institution, has brought stability and peace, prosperity to the world. And that must be the bedrock of our diplomatic efforts. The UK's commitment to European security is unconditional and immovable. I believe that if we can keep a strong grip on the fundamentals, those fundamental principles that define our alliance, and combine strong deterrence with patient diplomacy, then we can find a way through this crisis. But uh, the stakes are very high, and this is a very dangerous moment. And at stake are the rules that protect every nation, every nation, big and small.